But look at that, look at that spring action there. Yeah. Ah, so we're back in the normal grind of things. Away from vacation, as I was calling it. Tons of products here for me to make videos on, so it's definitely time to get back to work. Now, I created a video recently on the Deer C 9000E RC car, and today I'm making another video. This time, though, it's on a Deer C 9300. So the old one was a 9000E. This one that they sent me is a 9300. Special thanks to Deer C for sending this to me. I've absolutely loved the first one, so I'm really excited to unbox this one, get it hooked up, and try it out and see what it does. So let's hop on the overhead rig and unbox it, and then uh, I'll go through the setup process with you, and then we'll actually get this thing in the yard and play with it. So quick like, click subscribe, Indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out this Deer C 9300 RC car. The Deer C four wheel drive 9300 RC car. Now special thanks to Deer C for sending this to me. This one's a little smaller than the last one. It is full scale, two times differential, 2.4 gigahertz radio control, rechargeable battery, four wheel drive RC car, 20 minute maximum driving time. Their logo on the side, same picture on the back, just different language up there. 9300 high speed full scale. And then at the bottom, strong shock proof resistance with damped metal shock absorbers. Very, very cool. So let's cut these little pieces of tape. And should be able to grab. <laughs> I was getting confused. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like a little monster truck. Slide it out. That's it for inside of the box. So nice uh, little product manual here. One of their caution battery things. Now this, I think has maybe the charger. Please remove protective film on the car body before use. All right. Yeah, so we got a bag, a little brush for cleaning it. And then in here, that's for changing the uh, tires, I believe. Got a little screwdriver, some extra bolts, Allen wrench. Don't really know what this little round part is, but that. And then uh, even some extra pins for uh, the body. And then this is your USB charger. So let's take out the actual car. Oh man, this one's... So the other one I have is not as, uh, it's, it's, it's lighter. This one has a little more weight to it. And so, wow. So this one's like a little truck, but look at that. Look at that spring action there. Yeah. All right, let's drop down. There's our controller. I'll pull trigger when connecting. Okay. So this controller is very similar to the other one I have. It takes three AA batteries in the bottom. Essentially, you power this on and then just flip this to on and boom, you're ready to go. This is where you control your speed, put that to max and steering. I try to keep that in the middle as much as, as, much as possible. And then of course you just, you just turn this to turn the wheels and that goes forward, that way it goes backwards. We have, it's got a battery and another battery and then that's all foam. So these are the two batteries that came with this one. I wonder if they are the same type. That I can't tell yet. They are very close, but no, completely different batteries. All right, battery one, then battery two. So this is used for charging it, and this is what plugs it into the RC car. Now, this is talking about a protective film yeah, I don't see any protective film over this other than this sticker, which didn't want to come off very easily. But let's take out the take off the hood real quick. You just pull these four pins and that's it. That's the whole thing. Oh, and so this is your on off switch. So that's how you switch it to on and off. And it looks like our battery cage is right here. So it looks like we pull that pin and then this can take come out. You can put your battery in, run your cable around, and then you just kind of stick this back over it, put your pin back in. So 
Let's, I think this is really cool. I do wish I could get this sticker off without damaging the other. Hey, that was pretty good. All right, so we're going to get this thing charging up. And uh, once it's charged up, we'll try it out. So let's get this thing charging. So I went ahead and labeled these batteries 9300 and labeled that way I'd know what's what. But this just slides right into here like so. And then this just plugs into a USB port and uh, starts charging for you. And yeah, the bottom of it does have a little uh, LED light so you know when it's charging. So I charged up both of these batteries and this one in just sits right in here. There we go. That seems like a nice, that thing seems to work. Once your battery's in there, then you gotta get this part in. It flips in there, and then it's supposed to go here. What's holding it? That's holding it up. So there we go. Do it like that. Tuck that over there, and then you can fit this in to go down over that. And then slide this back through. I like the other battery better. So now the battery is secure. Bring your uh, cables around here, and there's a square and a circle, so uh, it's not really, you know, you can't mess that up. And then we'll put our top back on, and then put all these back in. Now we gotta put batteries in this, which I also labeled 9300. There's some nice new energizer. Now, if this, now if this is like the other ones, this one has a little switch on it that I gotta slide. So I'm gonna do that and turn it on. So I believe it's on, and wow, this was already on. All right, so it works. <laughs> there we go, left and right. If you go this way, it goes backwards. This way, it goes forward. Wow, this thing's like a jet. Let's get this one outside and see what it does. It doesn't light up like the other one, which I guess is one of the differences, but it seems to weigh a little more and man, does it seem like it's fast. Yeah. Let's go see. I love that bounce. So just to make sure you understand, essentially once you put your battery in here, you would have this off and then you would uh, just flip your switch on here and then flip your switch on here and these instantly sync and do what they need to do. And uh, you know, then it works. Let's take it outside and see. Zeppy loves these things. Can you grab the remote behind you, Mike Lee? Yeah. Thank you. Now our grass already got a little high, but let's see what it does. <laughs> My goodness. So that is the Deer C 9300. We are actually in the process now of cutting our grass because we want to have more fun with this, but the grass was kind of in the way. So she's starting to cut grass. I'm about to run back out there and help her cut some grass, but I had to make an outro real quick. So absolutely love this thing. A little heavier than the other one that I have from them, but just as fun, just as fast, just as amazing. So I highly recommend Deer C RC cars. I. From what I've seen, they're absolutely amazing. I'll of course have this exact model, the Full Scale 9300 from DRC, linked below in the description if you'd like to buy one of these for yourself. And I think that will do it for today's video. Click like if you can, click subscribe, check out indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.